Hey, it's Duke here, and today we're looking at this Cougar 23 MLS, and we're going to take a look at a few features on the outside, and we'll take a look at the floor plan on the inside. You see it says half ton. This one weighs about 7,300 pounds, has a hitch weight of about 1,350 pounds. You see it's got a couple of solar panels up there on the roof, two slide outs here. That one right there is for, uh, that is the wardrobe slide, and that side right there is in your living room for your theater seats. I think the refrigerator may be on that also. We'll take a look from the inside. Don't want to get it wrong. We've got big awning there, stereo speakers. This is a nice looking RV, very functional also. You've got a lot of storage right here, huge pass-through storage. Now you can see over there, that blue box is a solar charge controller. It's a 30 amp solar charge controller. So this one has two solar panels. It has an inverter so you can run a refrigerator. You can see that PEX plumbing, this heater duct coming out here in the pass-through storage area. So all kinds of uh, technology and features in here. It's got the road armor suspension. You can see it's got three inches of play up and down. Take a peek at the back and then we'll go on inside. There's your ladder going up to your walkable roof. There is a uh, place to hook up a camera right there. It's prepped. It's got a little tow hitch back here in the back, so you can check out the specs on that. Now, you could definitely carry a rack or a, a bike rack or a tray or something like that. See, it's got this Solar Flex 400. The 400i, the I stands for the inverter. There's also a, uh, so that's a 30 amp solar charge controller, two 200 watt solar panels, and an app you can download onto your phone. So when you walk in, right to your left is this kitchen. They could call this an RK, a rear kitchen, but it's ML for mid-living. S, I think, stands for slide 23 MLS. So you got the microwave. You see everything is right there where it should be. Convenient for your kitchen. You can get to your fridge right here. So you could run this fridge off of solar. Even if you're boondocking with the extra solar power. Get the right batteries in there, the two solar panels, the solar charge controller and inverter. Got stainless steel sinks here. And it has a booth here with windows right on the campsite. So the TV's up above it. You, there's an arm there. One thing I like about the way they uh, did these seats, now this will make into a bed and it's easy to do, but if you're just using this for storage, you just lift up this uh, seat and it's got wood underneath there so you don't have a separate piece of wood to worry about you go ahead and put that back all right so that is the dinette i think i covered that look how deep that storage is right here use that for whatever you want towels blankets winter clothes extra pantry space if you want check out that put some paper towels and extra goods up there you see these hidden residential hinges it's very nice hardware. This is this rig is actually rated for full-time use. That's the designation put on it by the manufacturer. So just take a look inside these cabinets. You got a window to look out uh, when you're here in the kitchen. Just trying to give you an overview here. Lots of headroom. Makes it feel very open. Take a peek at it from the other side. So you've got everything you need. You've got your recliners. You've got a place to sit down and eat. Use for a home office. Watch TV. A dedicated kitchen area that is out of the way. Tons of storage. And we're going to go up these steps and take a look in the bathroom. One thing you'll notice this porcelain toilet has plenty of space around it for hip and leg room. And plenty of room here for your uh, towels. You can roll up your towels, fold them up, put them in there bathroom items check it out you got a place to sit down in your luxury shower with the skylight huge uh, medicine cabinet here for all your prescriptions fingernail polish whatever you got you got nice looking cabinetry there so this slide out right here is the bedroom slide uh, this is a wardrobe so each there are there's a drawer behind each door and then it goes all the way through but it's a place to hang up stuff so you got plenty of room to hang things up and then you have some storage on each side of the bed 
nice area there there's some stores down there there's a table and over there you can see it's got a usb and 110 that's the same on each side of the bed so you could hook up a cpap machine charge your phone whatever items your tablets some storage up here we'll go ahead and take a peek if you're interested that's a residential filter for the air conditioner so it's a little bit a step above what you typically find in most rvs these days it's got two acs there's an ac in the bedroom and so there's the bedroom ac it's all ducted so it runs throughout the coach it's ducted into the bathroom there's another ac unit right there Hey, I appreciate you tagging along. I'm Duke, your video host. I'll be happy to show you how easy it is to purchase an RV with no hidden fees, no dealer prep, no freight. We've got a campground you can stay in for a couple days. That is my cell number. You can send me a text. I'm very easy to get a hold of. Here's your microwave right there. You want to see inside the fridge? No problem. There is the freezer. This freezer is on. So this rig right now is not plugged in but the solar power is cooling it. So this is nice and cool place to keep your... So if you've got your groceries in there and you're traveling or you get to a campground and there's a disappointment because the power is not working for some reason, you're waiting on a contractor from the campground to show up, you don't have to worry about your groceries, just uh, the batteries, solar power, all that, the inverter, solar charge controller. All that it will do is keep your groceries cold. That's a big deal because in your truck, it's got a trickle charge. But as you're going down the road, a refrigerator is going to pull more than what your trickle charge on your truck can keep up with. They're just not set up for that. So having that solar panel, if you want to do some boondocking, uh, you don't need to be plugged in. Go out to a deer lease. Just go out on some land out in some... Bureau of Land Management or National Forest Land and do some dispersed camping. This could be the perfect rig for you. Hey, thanks again. Sorry I went on a little bit long, but I'm Duke, your video host, and I'm happy to hear from you. If you want to send me a text, please feel very welcome to put a comment in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I've got all kinds of video reviews, hundreds of them for you to look at. Hey, thank you very much.